Today we're going to make chicken and broccoli soup using leftover rotisserie chicken. This broccoli soup recipe stands on its own and makes an excellent soup, but when you add chicken to it, you really turn it into a full meal. First thing I'm going to do is cut up my ingredients. I'm using an a yellow onion, but there's no reason you couldn't use a white onion or a red onion if you prefer. I'm going to only use half the onion for this recipe. You don't really have to cut it that fine because we're going to use a blender on the final product, but it will make it cook faster. As you can see, I'm not great at this, but I'm adequate. The next thing I'm going to cut up is celery. Again, it doesn't have to be chopped in too fine a pieces, so I'm going to just cut it basically. Next, I'm going to cut up the broccoli. Have a little, little leftover broccoli from yesterday, so I'm going to take it cut it into pieces. Now, this is going to be a fairly thick soup and it kind of depends on how you blend it, how thick or thin it will be, but it will make a difference how big these pieces are when you go to cook them. So cut them into similar size pieces. If or somebody complains about me using the knife edge, I'm going to turn it upside down to do that. I'm using about two heads of broccoli. One of the nice things about this recipe is that there's really no reason not to use the base of the broccoli, the stem of the broccoli. You just need to clean it and cut it up a little bit and it'll add a fair amount of substance to the overall dish and will taste pretty good too. What I usually do is take a peeler and just peel it and cut off the dry end and cut this into smaller pieces since it's going to be hard for it to cook. Since it's thicker, it won't cook quite at the same rate as the flour of the broccoli will. But if you cut it into small enough pieces, it will cook in the 30 minutes or so we're going to cook this. It'll cook and become fairly soft, but it'll be a good addition for flavor to the overall dish. I'll put this in a separate bowl because we're going to cook the broccoli later in the making of the dish than, than the onions and the celery. Okay, so now we have those two things. Now, not everybody adds garlic to broccoli soup, but I tend to like it. Adding carrot will give it a little sweetness, but again, not everybody wants to add carrot to the broccoli soup. It's pretty no traditional, I suspect. I'm not particularly traditional. This is a nice little garlic peeler. I don't know where I got it, but it's one of those things that actually peels the garlic instead of just pretends to peel it. So it's a nice addition if you do much garlic. I've seen all sorts of other ways of peeling garlic. 
and never been totally successful with. Again, you don't have to cut this overly fine because it's going to be blended. By I'm going to use a stick blender at the end, but it couldn't hurt to do a little bit. spots probably don't have to cut them off I always do makes me feel better about the garlic I think I'll add it later just to make sure it doesn't burn because it gets bitter when it burns. All right, so now we have the basics. We're gonna need some chicken stock. So, I always use this better than bouillon. Um, it works out. You can also use vegetable stock in this if you wanna keep it more vegan. Don't do that. We'll let that sit for a while. You need a medium sized pot with a lid. I'm going to set the temperature to about six and a half. Melt a couple of tablespoons of butter. It is salted butter, in case you want it. But you never know at the end, always taste it and see what you think. Add the onions and celery. We're going to cook them a couple minutes. Just until the onion and celery begins to soften. I just have to stir it occasionally to make sure that it doesn't burn. Now I'm going to add the garlic. For maybe another minute. I'm going to add a little thyme, two, two teaspoons of thyme. Get it, get it in here so it'll season this basic ingredients. And then I'm going to put Twelve grinds of pepper. It's probably less than a teaspoon, but it's probably about a teaspoon. You should notice the smell of the onions and celery and the thyme really reaching out to you. I love the smell of thyme. It's one of my favorite spices. Really good with beef and chicken. Like the old song, parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. But I'm not going to use parsley and rosemary, although I could. Okay, now I'm going to add flour. This is two tablespoons of almond flour. I'm just using it because I like the taste of it. Regular flour will do. Also, I've used almond flour. Except for the butter, you're still vegan. You can use something other than the butter and keep it vegan, like use uh, olive oil or something like that that you prefer. Just want to cook the flour just for a few seconds, get the rawness out of it, like you would on a regular white flour. And then I'm going to add 
chicken stock. And of course the uh, cutting the bouillon is not completely mixed in with it. But that's going to be alright because when it cooks it will. And now I'm going to add the broccoli. And some additional water just to cover the broccoli, which I'm going to press down a little bit. They only add a cup. Depending on your pot, you may need to add more. I'm going to add another full two cups just to make sure I cover it. Stir it up a little bit, make sure the broccoli is in there. Cover it, bring it to a boil, and let it cook for 20 minutes. I'm going to turn up the temperature to get it to boil quicker. Bring it up to high. Well, eight and a half on this. Okay, I'm going to turn the heat down to and a half see how that's going now I have some leftover chicken breast from the rotisserie chicken that I'm going to add to this make it a little bit different from the straight broccoli soup that should be enough this is definitely more than two servings this is probably four servings but we'll have it later in the week It's been about 15 minutes, so I'm going to test it. It's pretty tender, so it's ready for the next step. The next step is to take a stick blender and mix it up. Now, let me say something about that. You can do this in a regular blender. If you're going to do it in a regular blender, be very careful because you're working with really, really hot liquid. I know that's obvious, but you know, just I feel like I need to say that. Once the soup is blended to the consistency you want, add a quarter cup of heavy cream and bring the temperature up to a boil. And then once it starts boiling it, bring it back down to medium and let it simmer until the, you reach the thickness you want. At the same point, go ahead and add the chicken chicken is already cooked so you're really not doing much more than warming it but you can certainly put it in at this point to make sure it gets uh, the flavor mixes well with the rest of the soup when you're ready to serve your soup go ahead and put a half a cup of cheese of your choice cheddar parmesan into it and start in and mix it well Before you're finished, don't forget to taste it to see if you need to add any additional salt or pepper. I was satisfied with the seasoning in this one. Now serve your soup in a bowl and add some additional cheese if you want. And of course, bread and crackers are nice too. But it's ready to go at this point. This is a great soup by itself, and it's especially good when you take uh, chicken and add it to it. And it's a great use for leftover chicken. Thank you for watching, and if you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.